Fear Supernova Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Fierce Supernova by the House of Dua Fragrances. Now, this is one that I, I reviewed last year, I really liked. I was just kind of going through some of my favorites of all time, spraying it up, and I actually really, really enjoyed this one. So I decided to really take it on a good amount of wears. I'm almost done, or like a little over halfway on this one. Really, really enjoyed it. Just kind of been spraying it as almost my everyday scent, along with Azara Watson. I'm trying that one out again as well. This is a copy of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, the vintage batch, and then also Elysium, which is a very, very famous fresh fragrance that is very similar to Aventus. Mostly everybody knows about it, but that's what this fragrance is supposed to copy. And then they had the notes listed on Dua's website, but for these kinds of fragrances, they put all the notes of both fragrances into one. So it's this huge list of fragrance notes. I actually did it for Drowning in Blue D Sauvage Fierce, and it took me forever to do. So I will put the notes on screen, but it combines two very, very famous fresh scents. And both scents were very good on their own. Both scents were very clean and they smell very, very good together. I'm surprised how good they smell but they do smell fantastic here with Fierce Supernova. So anyways, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it jumps into those classic Fierce vibes. Now, I absolutely love Vintage Fierce. It's one of my favorite fragrances of all time, if not my favorite fragrance of all time. So. Uh, immediately spraying this, you do get little bits of that classic Fierce in here, and it just is so pleasant and so good. As somebody who craves Fierce and loves to wear Fierce all the time, it satisfies enough of my Fierce craving while also changing up the scent, which I do really appreciate. It is a very, very clean scent. It is a very, very robust scent, and it is very, very likable. This is definitely one that I have been complimented on. I've actually been complimented quite a bit recently, and this is definitely one of those ones that has made that list. And I've just loved wearing it every time I bring this around people, whether I forget that I sprayed it or not, it just seems to be likable by everybody. It's just such a easy to wear, very enjoyable, clean, fresh scent. And then it is also, while being super likable and familiar, it is also very different, you know, just enough difference where I just really, really enjoy wearing it because it smells so good, but it's also so different yet so clean and all the good stuff about Fierce and Elysium come out here. It just smells so, so good. Some of the mixed aspects I have here is the longevity and projection. Now, if you watched my original review of this fragrance, I did note that it was much lower projection than Vintage Fierce and Fierce Atar, which are two other duo releases that both smell very good. If you're a Fierce head, definitely check out their Vintage Fierce and their Fierce Atar because it is fan. Fantastic. I did say, and I still do agree that this has lighter projection than those two. Um, Elysium is known for having very short projection, kind of newer batches of Aventus are the same way. Elysium and Aventus, I think are supposed to be somewhat similar. So it kind of makes sense that if you mix Fierce, which is a longer lasting fragrance with Elysium, which is a lower projecting fragrance, that it would be a little bit lower. But I was actually surprised how satisfactory this is on two, three, four sprays. It does have a decent cloud. Um, you do get that vibe of, yeah, I wanna, I wanna definitely be known, but I don't wanna choke people out. And you kind of get that with this here. So although it isn't the best projector, although Fierce does project more, I do find that this was much more satisfying projection than I had the first time around. All right, cons of this fragrance, guys. I I really don't have too many. The only ones I could think of is, is if you don't like Fierce and you don't like Elysium, you probably won't like this fragrance. Certain people just don't like those DNAs and this one isn't gonna be for you. Certain fragrances, they can kind of hide bad smells. Like if you have some really smelly body odor or you're just really dirty, there's certain fragrances that you could just spray up on and it's really gonna hide that odor very well. This fragrance, I don't really think so much. This is something I would wanna wear when I'm 100% clean and fresh and don't have any other odors going on of any kind. It's just one of those ones where you wanna wear 100% clean. I think most people would agree that you're supposed to wear colognes when you're clean anyway. You're not supposed to just wear them while you're dirty. 
but there are some other fragrances that are better than that than this one i would just want to wear it while it was in a clean situation and then another con i was just saying that in my mix is that it does not project as long as the og fierce but again on this time around i was really pleasantly surprised and i really do enjoy this one and i stand by my initial statement that i made in my first video that if someone provided me just an unlimited supply of this and i had to only wear this i could totally do it i just really enjoy this fragrance something holds me back from saying this is the best fragrance ever something holds me back from saying this is better than fierce but it's almost like it's better but i'm like i can't say that it is and i'm like on the fence but i just really really enjoy it and i think maybe if this had the projection you know this would be in talks of being better than fierce but i can never turn my back on my baby that is fierce i just absolutely love it it's just my favorite so far but this comes pretty damn close and I really, really do enjoy Fierce Supernova. Such a great fragrance. I've enjoyed it in my first reviewing and I enjoyed it now. I could really wear this nonstop without a problem. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.